Welcome to the ultimate video guide all about architectural competitions. From why you should join competitions, how to find them, what is the best competition for you and your skill set, and finally some tips for you to maximize your chances of winning. Stay tuned till the end of the video to see the giveaway details for a chance to win two of these amazing books by Competitions Archie. And let's get started with why you should join architectural competitions. Now the first reason is explore. If you're not passionate about architecture, then architectural competitions are a way to enhance your passion in new ways and without a lecturer's restrictions and limitations. Because many of these competitions are conceptual and mostly the winning projects are not built. These competitions are an opportunity to concentrate fully on what you enjoy about architecture. The next reason is enhance your skills. So most competitions, they offer financial rewards to the winners, but if you do not manage to win the architectural competition you enter, does that mean that you've wasted your time? No, they enhance your design, presentation, and time management skills. Because architectural competitions usually have strict submission deadlines, forcing you to work quickly and decisively as well as creatively. The next thing is exposure. A good architectural competition will have hundreds and maybe even thousands of participants. The winners and participants are posted on social media and the organizer's website, meaning a lot of recognition to your profile and just overall getting your name out there. Practice. There's always new skills, new technology that are being developed. It's a perfect place to collaborate on ideas and prototypes if you are interested in exploring skyscrapers, urban design, tiny house, etc. So where do you find these architectural competitions? There are multiple sites that you can use. First is Arc Daily. If you didn't know, there is a tab for competitions and from there you can find and filter them to students or if you want to just keep it open. There's also competitions on the RIBA and the Architects Journal websites, but I think those are mostly targeted to practicing architects. Bustler is also a good site to find in competitions and just general architectural news. Young Architects competitions are also another good website. It's where I submitted my first ever competition, which I did win if that was not given. And last, but certainly not least, is Competitions Archie. It is the best website for architectural competitions in my opinion, as they have so many competitions to choose from, from different international organizations, as well as the results from past competitions for inspiration. And I have teamed up with Competitions Archie for this giveaway, and we are giving away two of these amazing architectural competition yearbooks, one on YouTube and another on Instagram. So now you are probably saying to yourself, okay, Rasha, you've convinced me, I am going to enter as many competitions as I can. Wait one second, stop. You need to select the competitions that are right for you, for your skills and your expertise. So now the first thing that you need to do is look at the past winners of that competition. If it's a yearly competition or maybe just past winners of that organization or company in general, are you able to match that or one up the previous winner's quality? If you can't match it up, you should be developing your skills a little bit more or maybe get another team member who is able to fill that gap or maybe just look for another competition. If it's free, then why not? You can still go ahead. It's still experience. But if it's paid, then you kind of have to weigh it out and see if you're willing to take that risk. Also, try to stick with students' competitions. That way, you know that most students will have a similar level. Because if competitions are allowing students, as well as urban designers, architects, and other professionals, you kind of have a less chance of winning that competition because architects will naturally have better ideas because of their experience. Now, number two is commitment. You don't want to enter a competition that requires more than you can handle. If you're reading the brief and requirement and it feels like a semester-long university project, then you might want to skip that one or collaborate with a friend. Another great tip is to look for competitions that you already have projects on. So some projects that I saw are literally just thesis or graduation projects. So if you graduated, you can just submit your own work. If you have a thesis project, you can just submit your own work. In competitions, the ideas are more conceptual. They have a less attention to the nitty gritty details. Of course, the design must have some level of practicality balance with ambition. This is where I think I could have done better when I joined the competition. I joined it in the summer, so I didn't have anyone I could ask for advice. So I really just treated it exactly like a uni project. You should do a basic research on the brief, but if you have the time, then why not? Do a full brief analysis. It is all experience at the end. Now, with presentation boards, I think the simpler they are, the better in terms of 
of layout. Most of the competition boards that I saw were full bleed images with simple details and if you're submitting two boards then one could be a full image with some details and then the other one could be a bit more in-depth explaining the concept, how it works and maybe some additional visualization. But you also have to keep in mind that it's quality and not quantity. So don't try to overfill your presentation boards with different details that might distract away from your concept. I will have a video linked in the cards for my presentation for a competition that I won and that goes into my presentation aspect in a bit more detail. You can also watch my ultimate guide for presentation boards. You guys love that one and I personally love it too. So if you have not watched it, I will leave it again in the cards. Teamed up with Competitions Archie for this giveaway and we are giving away two of these amazing architectural competition yearbooks, one on YouTube and another on Instagram. To celebrate their fifth year of establishment, they've created this publication that summarizes some of the most interesting competitions that came across their website in the year of 2019. And I swear, I am not exaggerating. When I first opened the book, it had that fresh smell of paper and just knowledge. Every page, I was just blown away with the students' work. They're mostly conceptual and experimental. And at the level I'm always aiming for in my studies. And seeing other peers work and understanding different techniques and ways of representing your drawings will also give you so much inspiration for your competitions or generally in your studies. The competition images are laid out beautifully and the overall design of the book is effective. Now, I must say that the justified text kind of bothered me just a little bit because of the hyphenation, but nonetheless, they've done an amazing job with this book and hopefully the next edition will have a better solution. I can really see this competition yearbook as an essential coffee table book for my living room. So now let's talk about how you can get a copy for yourself. We are giving out two copies as part of our competition prize. So the rules for entering are simple. You can enter both on YouTube and Instagram to double your chances of winning. So you can get two books if you wanted to. And all you need to do to win for the YouTube giveaway is to subscribe, of course, like, share the video to a friend because they might be interested in entering as well. I will also be leaving a question in the comment section below so I will be picking a winner from that comment thread but I really don't want to see any spam or repetitive comments I genuinely just want to see a community and different students helping each other out. You can comment as many times as you want as long as it's new valuable comment each time. Also leave your Instagram handle because that is where I'll be contacting you and for the Instagram portion you'll just need to follow both my account and competitions Arky, like the giveaway posts and tag one of your friends and I will have in the description box a link to where you can buy the book as well. It would honestly be such a great gift to give yourself or a friend or a partner that is interested in architecture. Thank you once again to Competitions Archi for organizing this giveaway. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments if you've joined any competition or not. Did you win? What did you learn from it? Have I convinced you to join a competition? I love you all so much. I'm Rasha Shiruru and I will see you next time.